Hi. Welcome back to the University of Freedom. It's been a long time. We've been on quite an adventure. Today's lesson is all about sustainability. The idea of creating systems that continue with fewer and fewer inputs over time. Really kind of how I think of sustainability. I can't sustain digging holes forever by myself with a shovel. I can turn my life into one where work like this is just a daily part of it, and so that physical activity isn't so instantaneously demanding. So when you go out and you work in your yard really hard one weekend, but you don't do that every day, or you don't do physical activity like it, you don't bend, you don't stretch, you don't move. It's going to hurt your back. It's going to make your muscles sore. However, if every day you go out and you dig a little bit, my goal is five to ten bags, no more, and that includes being able to stack them and move them and everything else. <clears throat> if I can get five, I'm good, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. If I get ten, uh, that's awesome, but I know I'm going to feel it. That's going to be more like a day of working out. <clears throat> and I'm going to be sore and not able to do as much after that. So when you think about sustainability... Don't just think about green energy and solar and it's not what that's about because none of that's sustainable. If you understood what it really took to make those lithium ion batteries that people have to use to get enough storage capacity to make those things worthwhile, you would understand that it's actually much more destructive than just running a good old gas generator or using a boiler for heat, perhaps, with natural gas, which is cheap and abundant. And you can make it out of methane and take the leaves and the scrap from the woods here and produce it. There are sustainable solutions. Some of them aren't very comfortable. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson from the new home of the University of Freedom. I am your coach, teacher, dean, headmaster, whatever you want to call it, on your journey to your self-directed education.